Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Thought you bet. I thought I was going to start there as I mess it up a little bit, but you join me on a Monday night. The only place to be on a Monday night is right here, watching me play this. We've got a new week, and guess what? We've got another repeated set of races. Oh my god. One make Mini Cooper at Suzuka East course. Come on mate. Come on mate. Who, who, who is overlooking this? Who can we get a wow? Certainly can. Wow. There he is. What a guy. What a guy. Um but yeah, wow. I mean why why have we got the same ones again? Bring back Group 3 at Interlagos, man. To be honest, I quite like the Group 3 race at Nürburgring 24. I actually think it's quite a good um, track. Quite, quite a good combination. I, I quite like that race. Um, I think Group 4, this is going to be the... This is the difficult race, I think. I think this is one where most people will be, but we'll see. I've set an okay time. Nothing special. Um, okay, so we're going to jump into race B, then we're going to do race C. In race C, I haven't qualified, as you can see there, bottom right of the screen. So we're going to start at the back and see what we can do from there on that one. Where's the odd socks? Yeah, just um, actual normal socks this time. Gone for the red, red tips, so you can, I don't know, maybe see that a little bit easier. Yeah, race B... We'll see. Let's see how it goes. Got enough time to set a couple of laps. I'm gonna go for the Huracan first. I think I'm not sure which is the best in the race. I mean we've had this race before, I should know. Huracan is number one on the leaderboard. It takes up most of the top ten. But um we'll go with the Huracan for now. I, ha I have got a TT, we can drive it next time. There are my group four cars, not too many. Although I've got the main ones that you need, really. Okay, let's jump into quality. Get a couple of laps down. This is the chicane of death. And we're doing it the more difficult way around. You, you, you approach the chicane at a higher speed this way, I think. Although, to be fair, the chicane of death is just difficult both ways. Difficult both ways. So... We'll see how it goes. How'd the gym go? Yeah. So on, on my Instagram, I posted a, a gym mirror selfie. Oh my God. Oh my God. But um, yeah, gym's going well. I, I actually really enjoy it. I never, I never was a gym kind of person. I liked exercise. I liked running. I liked playing sport, but I was never a gym person, but I actually really enjoy going. It's actually very good. Cheers, Cavalier, for the uh, use minus two the uh, break bias. Okay, we'll see what I'm on. See what I was running. What was I running? Yeah, minus two. Whoa, hello. Okay, we've got enough time for three laps. Yeah, three. Let's see if I can just improve that. Forty-seven point one. I know I can. There wasn't a, a good lap, to be fair. That. If I'm getting a 46, I'll be happy. Here we go then, chicane of death, first attempt. Will I get consumed by the Shadow Realm? You really do have to commit. Commit. Oh. Didn't turn in early enough. To the first apex. Keep, keep going though. That's super wide. streaming right now is he streaming this I hate that 
middle apex. So, oh, hello. Jimmy and I are racing together, actually. IRL in real life. In uh, just under, next week, actually. Next week. Saturday next week. So, in about 13 days' time. We're doing a 24 hour kart race at Buckmore Park. We're in the same team. So, WTF1, you may well have heard of them. I've made a team. So, me and Jimmy, TMM Marduk. TRL Limitless, Veloce James, and a couple of WTF1 members, I think it is. We'll see how that goes. Should be interesting. I don't think Jimmy's done, I mean, he's obviously got a lot of racing knowledge, but I'm not sure he's done too much karting. We'll see how that goes for him. And I'll be on hand to give him the best tips, of course. Ah! That corner, man. Ah, no. I've given up gaming for Lent. <laughs> I hope God is happy. I don't remember the line in the Bible where it says you should give up gaming, but we'll see what God says. Let me know your progress after the 40 days. Rubbish through there. Absolutely horrific. But yeah, for this for this 24-hour race, I'm not going to be able to stay there until the end because I'm start again because I'm going to get a rubbish exit. Um, I'm not going to be I'm not staying to the end because I'm actually racing somewhere else the next day um, on the Sunday. So I'm going to piss off early basically and let everyone else do the hard work. But cheers, Paul Connolly, for that donation, mate. Thank you very much. Do your socks say what day it is? No, they don't, actually. Okay, here we go. Come on, one lap. I mean, this chicane is just what makes or breaks your lap most of the time. There we go. And that corner there is actually really difficult. I struggle because getting the breaking point dead right is, is very, very hard. Stop the car from sliding on the brakes as well. I think we've done it though, come on. This is not a too bad lap, this one. Cheers, Matt Foster! Oh my god, England are losing. It's not coming home. I'm sure I can do something. It's still with the whole game. I think it's just started, hasn't it? That'll be alright. Oh my god, my seat just moved. Oh <laughs> god, right, right at the wrong time. Okay, that was weird. <sighs> right, okay. Oh well. Okay then. Weird, really weird. Look at it. Yeah, that was a bit frustrating. I would have liked to see how quick that lap was going to be, but my seat bloody moved. 
Right, so um, this is my my statistics. You can see it here. Um, so my rating forty seven thousand nine hundred eighty five, which you can kind of see in the middle or well, near the top, the fourth number down. That's what we're trying to get up to fifty thousand. Then I'll be A plus. My my rating on my main account now is sixty two thousand. So that's actually gone up quite a lot. Okay, here we go. Qualifying. Well, qualifying's over. Here's the race. Starting in ninth. So that's obviously not brilliant. So I need, yeah, definitely need to improve that. And this was the key, really. I, it's, it's the key most weeks, or it's the key pr pretty much every week. And it's definitely the key last week in the Interlagos race because I was, um, my qualifying was actually pretty good around then. I, I got a lot of good results because of it. Cavalier is in actually in the chat. Let's let's go out, practice. Should have enough time just to get through the chicane of death, which is always good to practice. Always good to practice it. Go. So Monday night, guys. Monday night. Always love a good stream on a Monday. And I hope you enjoyed the video for the uh, FIA. Oh, I didn't even make it. <laughs> um, for the FIA race on Saturday. It actually went really well. I'm really pleased with how that went. And I got the most points that, I, that I've ever got in one race, in an FIA race. Yeah, Paul Connolly, I agree. A guy called David Perrell. Uh, Perrell, P E R E L. Uh, real life racing driver. I've mentioned him a couple of times on the channel. Really good content, really good channel. Um, definitely check him out, have a look. But um, obviously watch my videos first. Should I expect a sixth place? Cheers, Waldy. I think you should. I think that's quite a reasonable expectation. Uh, my car number is what's that? eight. Eight, yeah. If I finish sixth, I'll be happy with that. We'll see how it goes. Oh, here we go then. TT's ahead. Loads of TT's. Pair of TT's right in front. One just behind. Oh god, that thing is quick. Had to cover him off. Need to work out my breaking point for turn one on lap one because it's always different and in the race. Right, here we go. Who's going to die? Double overtake. Get a load of that, mate. Oh, come on, let's push on for sixth. The problem is the Audis are so quick in a straight line. That's the hard thing around it. Cheers, Matt Foster again. Cheers, mate. get these guys off my back otherwise they're going to come back past me on the straight oh he's there oh my god now I'm going to get past again this is what was it last week um when was the last Group 4 race? I can't remember. But even, even in the last Group 4 race, um, 
the best qualifying car wasn't the best race car. TT might be the better race car here. Oh man, just got past him. Cheers, mate. Then you're on the defensive now, so I have to block him. Not going through this side, mate. Oh, the German's been pushed off by the French player. World War II flashbacks intensify. to do that. That's a brave lunge. Okay, there's a big fight there for second, or actually for the lead. We'll watch that one ke keenly. Might just come back at me here, annoyingly. Guys, I'm gonna pop the road here. Well, rip. Oh, so many Fs in chat. So many Fs right now. Let's get back past the the Durex Lamborghini. I was just unsighted. I was just oh for God's sake. I was hoping he would back out, but he just didn't. That's actually a really nice livery. Oh, he's white. Cheers, Leo. God, I think the guy in the lead has gone from fifth to the lead, I think. Right, you can go to the right. I'm not going through this side. Let's see if there's maybe one position we can gain at least. There's a group there. Safety first. Don't do it, mate. That's it. There's that position. Don't come out of that ghost. Oh, you come out of the ghost just be, just in front of the Durex guy. Good timing. Cheers, mate. Back to where I started. Actually, no, I've started ninth. I've gained. Somehow. Don't know how that, don't know how that worked. Definitely need to practice a lot more around this track. Not the greatest performance.
Hopefully that TT won't get past me here. It'll be close. Should be alright. 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 Right. Yeah. Woo! Okay. That'll do. There's a TT that won it. What race was it? Where's... Was it Suzuka? I think it was Suzuka recently in Group 4. Yeah, Suzuka. It wasn't the best qualifying car, but it was just so quick on the straight you just couldn't beat it. And when's your and Jimmy's 24-hour kart race? Yeah, so that is... What date is it? April... April the 6th. Not even a sixth place, you absolute p-word. In brackets, pig. I'm a pig either way, mate. Doesn't matter, I finish. Oh, yeah, that was a... Hmm, not the best result, really. I will take it. I think I uh, just need to improve that qualifying a little bit. That's all I need to do. Right, here we go then. I've got enough time just to... What, what is the best car? Supra again, yeah. First time donation. I made a fan art for your super, for you, CBDT. I posted it on Twitter. Uh, I hope you like it. Keep up the good work and punt those rammers. Cheers, Vortex Blast. For his first donation. Good stuff, man. Thank you very much. And I'll have a look at your fan art in just a moment. Um, I'm going to buy the Supra. Tricky car to drive that. Yeah, what cars have I actually got? Aaron. Got enough, I've got enough for the Supra. I'll, I'll buy that because that's the car I used the last time this combination came up. When I donate, I only get 50 characters. How come others get more? Um, there's two. I think there's more than one way to donate, so it depends where you do it. I think. Honda NSX. Never use that. I'll never use it. Thank God for all the gift cards which I can which I'll never use and I can't sell. Mm, great stuff. England 2-1, no way. Can't hear the donations. Ah, okay. You should be able to now. Should be able to now. Um what am I looking for? No, super no John Cena. You should be able to hear it now. Did you hear it on that one? Hopefully you did. Let me know. Cheers again, Matt Foster. Um, ch -ch -ch Toyota. What I'm looking for. Uh, the, the Group 3 Toyota, the Supra. Quick car. Very quick in a straight line. So it's good at the, the long straight. Um, and I think it is quite hairy coming out, of, coming out of turns. You've got to be careful on the throw. There it is. Let's find a livery for it. I should be practicing, really, but a livery is more important. We all know that. We all know that. Livery is worth like two seconds of that. Worth it. Yeah, this car's kind of controversial. A lot of people don't like it. To be honest, I don't mind it. I think it's okay. All right. Our livery country and Toyota. Toyota is going to. Well, Toyota is going to be a very popular um, choice, I think, for the manufacturers when that eventually comes around. Of course, I asked in one of my recent videos which manufacturer you guys going to go for, but um, you can't actually change for for the season now. It's, it's still an exhibition season, so you can't actually change it. Uh, I didn't know that at the time, but. I think when it, the proper season actually does come round, um, a lot of people will go for Toyota, I think. Toyota, BMW, Porsche. These are all rubbish. Come on. Calster is Lambo forever, mate. 
He's Lambo for life. Oh, that's a flashback. That is a m major flashback. Come on, loading. What are you doing? Yeah, for those of us who chose, like, sort of joke manufacturers or, you know, just a, a funny one just to test out. Yeah, kind of in trouble, really. So I, I chose McLaren. You know what? McLaren, not too bad. Then, um, You know, they were made out to be, like, awful, but they were actually okay. Um, there really are worse manufacturers out there than McLaren on this game. So I was quite... I was actually quite happy. I mean, going into it, everyone's like, that's, that's not a good decision, mate. But actually, you know what? Um, I'm okay with it. McLaren are okay. I like that one. We'll go with that. Which Fanatec? If you're asking which wheel I'm using, it's the CSL Elite for PS4. All my equipment is linked in the description below. Right, we've got two minutes to practice. Not really long, but I'm such a master of the ring, I don't need practice. Ford, yeah, that's a, wait, that's a good shout. Wait, Ford, what have they got? The Mustang, Group 4. They've got the GTLM. And the Mustang in Group Three, which are okay. Oh, let's see the fan art. Wait, let's have a look. I can't see it. Who was it who gave me the fan art? I can't even see it. I mean, we got. I, I saw this one earlier. Um, someone made the Gary Gilmore car. Gary Gilmore, what a legend that guy is. Number 20 as well, of course. Sponsored by Gary Gilmore. That's, that's quite. That's a really good livery. I think. Because the name's different. Than the person that donated. I don't know if that's the same one that we're talking about in the donation, but any other notifications here. But yeah, that, that that livery was pretty funny. It was Vortex Blast. Where's your? Have you tagged me in it, Vortex Blast? Because I can't see it. I've not got anything. Any messages either. Right, um, okay. We'll practice the... Super GT. Apex Chris! A year ago your videos convinced me to buy Gran Turismo Sports after hundreds of hours of entertainment from both you and the game. I think this is very warranted. Thank you very much Apex Chris. You're new to the game, that's pretty cool because you're actually very fast. But it's good to hear, man. Uh, thanks for the donation. Um, you know, it's always good if someone wants to buy the game because of the videos. I'm always pleased about that. So, Super. thank you very much. Good stuff, mate. And cheers, Trenton. How many pieces has Gary bought for you? It's <laughs> a good question. Um, I mean, how many times has Gary donated a 20? It's a good question. I don't know. Um, yeah, what TCS? Are? Yeah. What's the ideal? He's probably donated, you know, at, at least ten times, twenty quid, at least, maybe twenty times. You know, ten times. That's let's say a piece is twenty quid in England for a large. 20 pizzas. It's hard to say exactly how many times you're doing it. I don't know. I'll put on mediums. That's a good... Oh, it's too late now. But I'll do it for the race. So I think the best strategy here is, is to pit. You can, I think you can do it hard on hard and fuel safe, but we could try that later, maybe. 
There is an, as, as Simon just says there, there is a no stopper, you can do it. So what we'll do for the first race, I think we'll just try, we'll try the conventional method. Actually, because I'm at the back, we could do it differently. Let's see what the grid is like, let's see what the grid is like. And cheers Simon, by the way. Our Apex creator, a long time GT fan, but held off Gran Turismo Sport, yeah, makes sense. I think my, the last time I did this, my lap time was 8.03 when I, when this combination came up. So that would put me second in this grid. I think it was 8.03 or 8.05 8 or 8.03. That's the kind of pace I know that I can get up to. I don't think I can get into the 7s, 7.59 or whatever. Oh yeah, Wi-Fi password. Honestly, Wi-Fi password's got a little bit better recently. I've noticed that. He's, he's quick. He stopped handing out his Wi-Fi password to everyone, even though it's his PSN ID. And uh, his internet connection is a lot better too. Yeah, Calster's about to run away with this one. Driving that Lambo. That's tire wear, of course, to think about here. Okay, what did my driver rating got? Uh, or did it go down? It stayed about the same, okay. So my car number was eight in that last race. I finished eighth, so it didn't really change too much. How do you have your shifting setup? So down here, you can't see it. Um, I've got a Fanatec shifter. I'm using the paddles on the back, these sort of bronze coloured shifters here. Right, um, medium. Let's whack on the mediums. Is Kalsa still on the controller? I think he is, yeah. Short shift this car as well. Super Matt Foster just loves it, doesn't he? He just loves a donation. House and Super GT top two finish. Steve, this is James. Send it, my friend. I'm going to send it from 16th to second on turn one. Watch this. It's going to be mad. You're going to love it. Can we set up a GoFundMe for Calster's wheel? I'd love to see what Calster can do on a wheel, man. He might be the best controller player in the world right now. The guys, honestly, he's seriously quick. I'd love to see what we can do on a wheel. Right, here we go. Got Matt Man in here as well, sitting just behind me in uh, 18th there, driving the Lexus. With the McLaren just behind us. The McLaren, ooh, yeah, okay. Quick car in a straight. Oh, so annoying, we have to start on the corner. Oh, <laughs> guy behind me. Ripperoni at the start. Away right, we go then. Let's see what we can do. 16 on the grid. I'm already sensing some trouble with turn one. Should better get past this guy. One position. Put someone off there. It's another one. Oh, it's Wi Fi password. No. I love Wi Fi password. What a guy.
Now, I haven't driven this track in a while. So this is going to be a bit of a memory refresh. Someone give me slipstream, please. Please, please. That's right, bail out. Thank you. Did the right thing today, mate. Oh, mate, just carving through the field right now. Move aside. <laughs> I spoke way too soon there. <laughs> Why did it not reset me? Come on, reset me. <sighs> oh, wow. That's what happens when you get arrogant. Now I'm eight seconds off. Well, rip. That's what you've all tuned in for. To watch me bottle it. At least I'll do it on my second account. Tayshia Vu. Yeah, about a million times I've seen that before. Cheers, Kevin. Well, let's just treat this first race as a practice session. And then forget the result. Although I still want to catch up and beat people. Let's see what we can do. My god. You are a silly billy, aren't you, Super GT? Didn't warm my hands up, man. That's all it was, honestly. That's all it was. I need to get the hand warmer. Put my gloves on. That's the true key to success in motorsport. Warm hands. Remember that, kids. Remember it. Do my foster again. That was a big bottle. I mean, I don't ever normally crash there. Weird place to crash, but... Let's see what we can do. Try and save a bit of fuel, maybe catch up that way. In the pit stop. Other people will be making accidents later, so... We can still gain positions from here. Mustn't give up. Hashtag never give up. Chorus is ahead. McLaren. Gravel is a cool, cruel mistress. It really messed me up there. To be fair though, right, there's this big debate about like um, like the design of circuits with like tarmac runoff. I've never been a fan of tarmac runoff. Um, I, I mean, I, in some places it's obviously very acceptable, but I like having gravel, like, just to stop you. If you make a mistake, like, you are the toast. And I like that, I actually like that. Just Trenton? <laughs> Come on, Gary, where are you, mate? Get the Domino's order in, son. Cheer me up. Cheers, Trenton, again. Oh, he's indicating. Does he want me to go past or something? Base design. How am I going quicker than this McLaren? He's pulling over. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Nice guy, that base design. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, with the tarmac runoff thing, it's like... Often when it's time I run off, people... Um, it's hard to describe, but... In, like, close quarter racing, it's too easy to bail out and just go across the tarmac. The excess tarmac. Um, I, which is something I really don't like. I'm catching up. That's a good sign. I'm 64% fuel. 63 
it obviously it's definitely possible to do a, a no stop. 100% is possible. I don't think you lose too much time in the pits here. Like Catalonia, which we did in the FIA, you lose tons of time in the pits. Now I'm catching up. There's a big group of three here. If I can just save enough fuel, I might be able to jump them all in the pits. They're getting crowded there. He was ghosted. At least I'm not miles behind. That mistake was stupid. But I'm still in with a shout or something. And let's not forget I just start 16th, which I'm just behind. Just behind 16th right now. 14th is just up the road, well within sight. Thirteenth is actually in sight as well. Actually, no. Even twelfth is in sight now. slipstream I'm not sure I am the Porsche is although he's in the slipstream so uh, it's gonna be hard I don't think I'm gonna gain here on anyone hey Tishney good to see you in the, in the chat mate good to see you back online after your PC issues that you had and Rory too how are you doing mate why is the super so slow cheers mate I'll take that need a tiny bit of fuel, 47%. Oh, they're staying out. Okay, that's, that's that's interesting. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. I'm not sure I'm going to gain that back. Um, cheers, Matt Foster, for that donation there. Actually, God, you lose tons of time here. This is way longer than I remembered. I just need just 50%, I think. Oh, it didn't give me the option in time. Okay. Well, don't pit on this race then. That's not the right option. Okay, Ripperoni. I'm going to finish last. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this is a uh, absolute disaster. But um, all good practice. This was actually going really well until I stupidly bottled it. And then I bottled it again by going in the pits. What a fool this man is. Cheers, Hudson. Yeah, good to see you again, Hudson. It has been a long time, mate. Catching up to do it again.
So four and a half seconds behind, or 4.3 behind. Then we can do. Kelsey's still in third, so he's not actually running away with this one at all. But as you said, the tyre wear, that's, that's the main issue here. I seem to remember on this race last time, everyone was pitting. There must. No, something just seems massively different here. Compared to last time. But, um, barely anyone pitted. Just the idiots, like me. I'm actually last now. I'm actually last. The guy behind me has quit. Ahead as a penalty. Don't know how big that is though. Gap's still 4.1. I haven't really gained too much. Oh. On the edge, but we're okay. Oh no. What's going on? It's slowed right down. Gap down to two and a half. Or two, no, less than two now. He's bowled it somewhere. we ignore of course I don't think anyone ever pays attention to yellow flags oh there's a queue of people okay we can gain some positions here come on oh he's given up see you later mate Pick a side, mate. Hey, he's in the wall. Back to where I started in 14, it's 16. Two McLarens here. That is weird, mate. That is a really big coincidence. You might be onto something, mate. Conspiracy theory. It could be the same person. But you're going to have to back it up with some proof, you know. Cheers, Oscar. Please just boss it, guys. Do something silly. Really silly. Just do what I did, basically. Oh, another yellow flag. Someone else is off. Yes. There's always a chance to gain positions. We can get 13th. Unlucky for some, but it'll do for me right now. Boosted him. Putting that pressure on right now. Oh god, oh god. He's alright. <laughs> Sorry mate. Should have seen that one coming. There's a big big dip there. Most people break just before it. Or well, should do it. Got ya, I've got ya. Another yellow flag. Someone else off. This is gonna to be tough against the McLarens on the back straight. 
super quick. I don't know how. I mean, I have. Oh, it won't matter now. <laughs> what am I doing? Let's just write this race off. Forget it ever happened. Oh, cheers, mate. Oh, what an absolute idiot. What an absolute idiot I am. Let's just monitor that fuel. 8% from the start of the straight, or is it actually 9%? Triple bottle? What am I doing? The triple bottle. Valtteri Bottle Ass. My new name. Not good, not good. Just wondering, because... Oh god, he's gonna crash. Or is he? Oh, actually, I couldn't get the position back. <laughs> yes! Yes! 14. That'll do. Well, it won't do. It was rubbish, but... Oh, man. Even Wi-Fi password got back up to 7th. If I didn't pit, I would have been up there somewhere. <laughs> that was a good little crash at the end there. I enjoyed that. Okay, that was silly. Obviously, it's a no-stop race. That's clear now. But, um, yeah, rest in pits, mate. Rest in pits. Almost level 30. Cal still got second. Is that your McLaren that won it? That's interesting. Not a super to be seen in the top 13. I'm th oh, wait, I'm the only super. Oh, no, there's a couple at the back. Only idiots drive the Supra, obviously. The McLaren, I thought it was gonna... I thought that car was gonna be really bad on fuel, but it's actually not, it's actually quite good. Here's the fan art. Okay, let me just open that up. Wow. Take a look at this, guys, it's amazing. Wow. Vortex Blast. Thank you so much, and thank you for this amazing art. Look at that. Shadow Realm McLaren. That is really cool. That's actually really, really cool. That's amazing, that. Love your videos and your live streams. Uh, here's a fan art that I drew by hand of your R4M Shadow GT Shadow Realm McLaren 650S GT3, ready to punt a Porsche 911 to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Great stuff, mate. Great art. That's amazing. I love it. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. That's that's really nice. MG, ram me, oh great rammer. One day, mate, when the time is red, when the time is right, I will ram you. Yeah, that's a really good piece of art. Thanks so much for that. Good stuff, bro. Well, what should we do now? I reckon do that race again. Because I reckon... I don't have time to do a um, qualifying lap. Super GT. Super GT would have got 6th. I think I could have done. Wi-Fi Password got back to 7th in that race. Um... Wait, if I could if I could replicate my 803, I'm pretty sure it was an 803 I did last time. If not, it was an 805. But um, either way, I'd be up there in the top 10 if I did that right now. Should we? I think I'm going to use the McLaren. Let's, let's use the McLaren. Do the same race, but use the McLaren. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will ram you. I used to, I used to know that whole. Uh, see that was what's the right word? Intake and when he says that whole thing. I used to know the whole thing off by heart. That's pretty sad, isn't it? Um, I haven't got any... we need to get a meme livery. Come on, come yeah, on. Yes, get my hands warmed up. 
That's obviously all that went wrong in that last race. When your hands are cold, you make silly decisions and do stupid things. It's true. It's well. It's a well-documented fact. How was the podcast? Yes, it was really good, actually. So last night, um, I was on Actrol Vision's podcast with Jimmy Broadbent and JSR Devon. Talking about elitism in sim racing. It was actually, yeah, it went well. It went well. That's a very nice livery. I like that. Seven up. Oh, yes. I haven't had a seven up in a long time. Super GT. Winning Nautilus Life, I'll eat my boogies. Deal. You gotcha, mate. You don't even have to do it. I won't even know if you've done it or not, but I'll hold you to it. If I win, you eat your boogies. The donations get weirder and weirder. Oh, yes, Kinder. Give me that Kinder chocolate. Hell yeah. What do we reckon, guys? Seven up or Kinder chocolate livery? I've already got a Kinder delivery, but Kinder is pretty cool. Kinder. We're going Kinder. Oh, Kinder, Kinder. I'd say quite a close vote, actually. Pretty. Kinder is disgusting. How dare you? It's actually a fair split between the two. We're going to go seven up. I've got the kin delivery on the Atenza. Seven up it is. Inspired by the classic F1 livery. Schumacher. Was it, which car was that? Was it Benetton? My 90s history of F1 eludes me. I can't quite remember the car that he was driving at the time. And it was Schumacher, I'm pretty sure he was in that car. Right, McLaren. Go for the McLaren. This car is actually okay on fuel, which really surprised me. If you warm up, if you warm a Kinder up, it tastes exactly like a hot poo. I'm just worried how you know that. Like, which situation did you get in where you ate hot poo to find out what it tastes like? House, oh, it's OP on fuel, okay. Yeah. I remember the Mount Panorama race. There's a Jordan. Jordan, yes, of course. The F1 car that I'm talking about. Yeah, the Mount Panorama race. We jumped in the bar for the first time. The, the new one. I thought, right, this is, this, there's got to be something wrong with this. What's the downside of this car? It's rapid in a straight line. There must be some reason. There must be something that it's rubbish at. It's just kind of good all round. It's brakes are average. Um, it's just very stable. It's, it, it turns in quite slow. That's one thing, I suppose. Right, let's get a little bit of practice in. A minute's worth. No kinder, no sub. For my next live stream, right, I'm going to have a big surprise. They've been sponsored. Not sponsored, but advertised on the channel, should we say, recently. gonna happen by the next live stream that's right discos best crisps in the world let's get super Jesus some thumbs up on his stream this man knows oh god um okay break a bit earlier than that i'm on the hard tire as well but we'll change that Essex boy with a football update. What's the what's the England score now? Are they smashing it? Or are they getting smashed? It's coming home, lads. It's coming home. Honestly, last summer. If any, for those of you who lived in England and, and like football, it was such a good summer. I mean it's just a good summer anyway, because it was just ridiculously hot. 
Um, in, in England, right, we get 30 degree days, like four days, four or five days a year, not many. Um, but like last summer, it was just like three months of more than 25 degrees. It was, it was just ridiculous. It was such a good summer. Obviously, at the World Cup, it was coming home. It was a good year. Yeah, it was a good run for England. I mean, they did have an easy run. They didn't really have to play any of the like, seriously big teams. I suppose they got they played Croatia, who got to the final, but they didn't have to play Spain, Germany. Holland, Italy. No, well, Holland and Italy didn't qualify. Still, didn't have to play them. Is it a no-stop on medium tyres? I think so, yes. I'm going to, yeah, I'll stick with mediums. I, I typically think it's better to... Like, in my experience, right, you've... So you've got the choice hard, medium. In my experience, unless it's a really long race, it's better just to go with a softer option and just deal... just. Just scale back the way you drive a little bit and it should be okay. Just break a tiny bit earlier, just be a little bit more smooth. And you still almost get the same level of grip, it just loses grip easier if you overdrive it. I think that's that's the main kind of difference. Steven, ram 10 people, I'll give you another uh, two packs. Tempted. Can we can we go down to nine? Can we make it nine only? Whoa, is Calster not in a Lambo? Have a look. Calster isn't in a Lambo. What livery? I've got the seven up livery on the McLaren today. Calster is driving. <gasps> Someone screenshot it. He's driving a McLaren. How dare he? What a traitor. Lamborghini traitor. Hope he's feeling alright. He might need to go and see the doctor. Something's wrong, obviously. There he is, look. I'm just surprised he actually has another car that isn't a Lambo in his garage. But there we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's not bottle it this time. Do anything really stupid. Car sounds like my toothbrush. I wish my toothbrush sounded like this. Well, Apex Chris just ahead. He actually is in the stream, or he was. Let's see what we can do then. We need to break a little bit earlier this time. We need to turn one. I'll be having that off, yeah? See where Apex Chris can get through to. He's very quick. He should be able to get through to the top. Eight, I'd imagine, at least. Oh, that's a rude overtake, that. Very rude. No penalty, though, so obviously it's absolutely fine. Lol, just kidding. Oh, wait, that's Chris, no! He's bottled it. He just couldn't handle the pressure of being on a Super GT live stream. Oh, mate. Right, we're coming up to the corner. We're coming up to the corner. Don't bottle it. Don't, don't do anything stupid. I can't see the apex. Oh, someone's off. Screw it, I'm going through, I don't care. 
Who's taking penalty? I've got the penalty, so. Second gear. It's actually a bit of a handful of this car around here. need to really scale back my braking points compared to the last race. Come on, someone's off there. It's Calster! Oh no! I'm not going to get past him though. What's he done? Oh, he's driving a McLaren for a start, so he's probably unfamiliar with it. Oh! Austrian's off! Where's he coming back on? Where's he coming back on? Right in front of us, annoyingly. Always really frustrating when that happens. Getting past you, mate. goes again. Drives all over the road. Oh, hello. Okay, ninth. That's not too bad. Let's press forward a bit. Oh my god, that was so close. The realm was calling. I resisted. Fuel sit rep, 75%. Bike more rams. Oh, okay, I've already had a few then. You just don't need another two. I'll take that. Cheers, mate. I need to short shift a bit more now. Not gonna make it otherwise. Missed the carousel. Or the bank's part of it.
50k. Fuel should be okay. 56 right now. It'll, uh, it'll be below 50 by the time we cross the line, but the second lap it should be better on fuel than the first lap. Set of fuel as we cross the line. We should be alright for that. Too late. Not too bad though. So if we can gain any more then the gaps are quite big now. Oh understeer as well. Pretty horrific understeer. Finish ninth or higher, and I'll donate again. Got yourself a deal, mate. Because I'm in eighth. I'll take it. Cheers again, Matt Foster. Let's see if we can just gain one position at least. 3.6 seconds behind the guy ahead. We don't know how well they fuel saved on the first lap. Maybe they'll have to... We'll save a bit more on this one, I don't know. down to 2.7, gaining. Still with a penalty, annoyingly, but let's forget about that. Just think with that penalty, though, right? Three-second penalty. I'll probably lose uh, maybe one second at the finish line. But in gaining that position that I... So I hit someone a little bit wide, gained the position... From gaining that position, I've probably gone on to lose less time than one second. Just by being in a better position and not getting stuck behind so many people. I've actually probably gained out of doing the, <laughs> out of the collision, to be honest. Gap down to 2.5. Still gaining a tiny bit more. Not much, but enough. now. Two point one or two point zero. They pulled in a second on this lap so far. It's still possible to beat this guy if I can get ahead of him and then just need to open up a bit more of a gap. He's actually gone wide. God, he went to block again, I think. Okay, now, just need to open up a gap. We should be able to do, because we were gaining on him. Seems... There's a bit of... Oh, he's actually got five-second penalty now. 
we'll stay ahead of him. We've got seventh. And then it's just a matter of hoping that someone else does a mistake up ahead or runs out of fuel. I don't know. Let's see. I'll make sure I don't run out of fuel as well. Should be alright though. Also in sixth place. Disappointing for him, but he is driving something different than normal. Derek in the lead. Derek often pops up and he's he's very quick. Very, very quick guy. Kaus is up right behind 6th place now. No, 5th, sorry. Let's see if that amounts to anything. I think 5th had a penalty, if I can see that correctly. Oh, God. Ram Kalster. I mean, I'll, I'll do very well to catch up with him. If it's on, it's on. I'll go for it, mate. Keep it on. Oh man. Kind of didn't me really want to block him like that, but. But I did. Jeez, that understeer now. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Whoops. Just touch the grass a tiny bit. One pixel of grass. That's what it does to you guys. Stay away from the grass. That wasn't a complete F, that was a semi F, that one. This is semi F. Just gotta stick with this guy. Might have to repass him on the straight. Ideally, want to pass him, I think, just to make sure. I might get past him too early here and he'll come back at me. What's he doing? What's that slipstream? Wi-Fi password's crashed. Uh, she can't finish. You can't slow that. Yeah. You can't serve your penalty under yellow flags, can you? So, just have to go for it. We, we just beat him. Seventh then. We'll take that. And that donation there... Smells like a bottle job. Viz, viz. Um, not quite, though. Not quite. Up to seventh. I'll take that. Derek guy is an idiot, okay. No idea what happened up the front there, because yeah, Kalster did crash. Have an accident, should we say. Back to fourth.
Just Disney, see you next time, mate. Have a good one. I'm actually, I'm higher than you on, in the UK, mate. <laughs> you can't be having that, surely. Were you short shifting on purpose? Yes, because you have to fuel save in that race. And that car, I think, is better when, when fuel saved anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a good race with Zombie Blaster. Good stuff, mate. Cheers, mate. Oh, here comes the beef in chat. Here comes the beef in chat. Oh, no, Derek's just gone. He ain't taking it. Nation's not the priority yet. No worries at all. I think I'm going to ship over to manufacturers as well, actually, at some point. See what we can do in Nations, though. Top two is going to be so hard in the UK. There's so many good UK players. It's going to be ridiculous. Right, let's see what our rating is. Um, another five ever finishing seventh. Cheers, Matt Foster, man. Yeah, that was a good result. I was pleased with that. Pleased with that one. Cheers again to Vortex for this great artwork. Love it. Um, 47951, still about the same. Not really changed at all. So, okay. We've got this race. Mm. Let's do this in Audi, the titty. I need to put a meme livery on it though. Matt Foster raining with the, raining down with the fivers. He's the fiver version of Gary Gilmore. I discover. Let's have a look. Here's GR Super. See you next time, mate. Thank you all for tuning in. Always love it to have a good sizable audience on a on a live stream. What are doing? Audi is German, isn't it? King in the castle, king in the castle. I have a chair, I have a chair. Oh, go do this, go do this. King in the castle. Hugh Hattrick. Four races this week. I am Project Cars 1. It must be poor if you're going to go and play Project Cars 1. Thank you, Hugh Hattrick. Yeah, I mean, this week's races are kind of like yeah. race one, race A, um, mini at Suzuka. Like, no thanks. The Dragon Trail one. Mm, I was hoping it was going to be Dragon Trail Seaside. I like that version a lot more. But um, the Group Three race, I think, is okay. It's just a shame that it's like easily a no stop, or not easily, but like. What sits? Yes! It's got to be that. It's just a shame that the Group 3 race is like a no stop. Like 90% of people, once everyone realizes that's the best strategy, everyone's going to be on it. So it's quite quickly going to become a dull race, I think. Because it's just so hard to overtake around there. Oh. Where is my TT? It is. What are your two favorite racing sims for PC? Assetto Corsa, I'd say. I really like that. Super. And iRacing. Uh, what's it? There we go. Make it to 1k likes and I'll donate my sister. Hit that like. Guys, if that's not an incentive to hit that like button right now, surely we've got 1,000 viewers. Have we got 1,000 viewers? On Streamlabs, the viewer count just pauses after a while, annoyingly, so I can't actually tell how many viewers I've got right now. Come on. We'll get Broken Bear's sister. That is... An incentive of all incentives. 1600 viewers. There's no excuses, guys. Come on. All right, let's get back in here then. Race B. Cheers, Broken Bear. Cheers, Broken Bear. He donated on my PO box. So you can send anything you want to me, guys, by the way. If, if it's just a letter, I'll read it. Whatever. Anything silly. A gift or a note whatever you want it's in uh, the address is in the description you can send anything dead body I want to get rid of one um but broken bear actually sent me a an elite controller for the xbox which was very nice of him 
Very, very nice. Um, yeah, that's worth, how much is an Elite Control? About £100? So... So that's um yeah very nice very nice gift, and then yeah we'll we'll turn up and then I'll go, I'll go yeah can I just collect my my items please? They'll be like yeah this one this one was moving. Oh right sure and then yeah there's a person in the box. It's Broken Bear's sister. Send me some discos, Jake XVX man. Do it, do it. Hope you, hope you enjoyed your discos, man, because they are freaking awesome. They are the best. You, you are poor. I am actually. After all, after spending money on this rig, I'm a broken man. Right. The what's this wagon? Really cheesy. Look at it. Hell yeah, baby. I need to get myself some Watsons. They are the messiest crisps of all time, but... Who doesn't love a packet of Watsons? What's the BB for this car? Front. Okay. Oh, baby, understood. So what have we had? We've had the Kinder Atenza, we've had the Oreo Lamborghini, the 7-Up McLaren, the Watsis Audi TT, Fanta Banta Wagon, uh, Porsche. Um, I need to make a disco. Anyone up for making a disco delivery? Quavers. Quite. I love Quavers. You can get like eight of them in one go and just crunch them into your mouth. Oh, baby. The thought of it is just making me really excited. I'm going to say, I thought my BB is wrong. Problem is, I'm on my second account where I don't know the settings for my, for my main one, but go with that. titty aficionados out there what BB are you using kettle chips livery, I love kettle chips they're good skips I've never liked skips 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 aren't the one for me man hula hoops though, yeah they're pretty good give me a packet of cheese and hula hoops any day Pringles. To be fair, Pringles are pretty unbeatable. Pringles are god tier. So are Doritos. Plus five. Okay, yeah, cool. Cheers, Teresio. Yeah, I just noticed your time is really high up, Teresio. So, Teresio, I think, is the Group 4 Al TT Master. I'll always trust his advice. McCoy's, God, man, I need to go. I'm going to go to Tesco later and buy about 12 different brands of crisps. Have a proper blast from the past session. Sitting there at 1am in the morning eating, eating different types of crisps. That's a life worth living. If you can't do that, you might as well just end it. Hey, how you doing, man? See you, mate. Kettle honey Dijon flavour are the best. Don't at me. Kettle honey Dijon flavour. Never heard of it, but I'll take your word for it, mate. If I ever, if I ever see them, I'll go and buy some. Super GT. <laughs> I've defected from Monster Munch to spicy spiral ch Cheetos. I feel wretched for betraying my country, but they are so good. You know, man, sometimes you've got to just white na um, national pride aside and just go with the best... Which ever provides you with the best crunch, you know? Monster Munch is pretty cool, but um, yeah, I'm, 
I'm with you on that one. I'm surprised I haven't seen any. Like, I haven't seen a Pringles livery. I've seen some Doritos ones. Wait, did I have a Doritos car as well? I can't remember. August sensations are pretty peng. They are actually pretty exotic flavours you got there. Kelsey says check brake balance. Um, one with plus five at the moment. I've gone on Trevisio's basis, and he's actually got this car up quite hard on the leaderboard. I think he's done a time. Do you do a low forty-six or a high forty-five? He's actually really hard on the leaderboard, I think. So. I trust his judgment. Knickknack scampy green livery. <laughs> well, I remember those, yeah. Knickknacks, man. That's a blast from the past, Jesus. Got to be smoky bacon. Smoky bacon crisps, yeah, man. Classic. Absolute classic. Been a long time since I had some of them. To be honest, the only crisp I really have now, Doritos, um, and that's about it. I don't. I'm quite MLG like that, you know. It's making me hungry. I don't know if you guys saw it on my Twitter post. I mean, I've been, as a joke, putting discos in the videos, and um, I went to Tesco the other day and actually sold out. Maybe the sponsorship is working, you know. Royster's. I'll be honest, I've never had them, so I'll add them to the list. Yeah, this car is just I don't like I've never liked driving this Audi TT. Because of its ridiculous um understeer. Go past you. Fourth. Now it's got hope that the top guys all murder each other some somehow. Should be able to drag race out drag him to the turn. Give up, give up, give up. You made a good decision, mate. You made a good decision, Volga. Oh, he's dead. You didn't make a good decision. <laughs> the realm population grows by the day. That's such a, a common portal to the realm. Chicane of death there. Right, let's see if we can gain on this group. Probably not, but. They're all good practice. One of them is in a Lambo, so. He should be vulnerable, and I like him vulnerable. Oh no. Too early.
I think I really need to improve in group four. I think I've got in group three. I've improved quite a lot. Group two, I've actually improved quite a bit, but it's just group four remains a bit of a oh, problem for me because the car. I don't know. It just really dry. You really do have to kind of have a different style, especially with the cars that that work in group four. the number on my car. I still don't have one. I don't know. Okay, fa faster lap is a 47.1. Let's see if we can just get our faster lap down a little bit. 48.9 my last lap. Not good at all. up there between the top three. Now I'm just in no man's land on my own. Oh, that's so wide. a much better final chicane. One more lap. And we're golden. Yeah, this is a weird track backwards, or this way round. Um, just trying to work out which way I like it the most. I think the other way around is I think is be the better way to do it. But it's quite a unique track in that you can it work I think it works both ways. It's just I think it's just a bit better the other way around. Take it nice and easy to the line now. Well, 47 for that lap, the last lap. Not too bad, not too bad. Still need to improve that though, ideally. happened in this race. Good battle back there, good battle at the front, but for me, nothing. I'll do though, I'll take it. TT1. The thing is, like, it looked like the Huracan in second was quicker. Like faster overall, but it's just so hard to overtake the TT. You're in the Lambo. That's the problem. The TT hustles, but the understeer is brutal. That's a really good way to summarise. I think it is really quick. You just have to really deal with how it performs. Why is this race only four laps? Yeah, race B is normally around seven or eight minutes long. That's normally how it is. Hey.
Let's see what my rating has gone up to. Hopefully it's gone up. Gone up marginally. Um, 48,516. So 1,500 points away from A+. Um, so lots of people saying this should just be a meme account. It's never meant to be. Obviously, the name of it is a meme. But the whole idea really is... Um, it, I mean, it doesn't matter what rating I am too much. But um, I just wanted the second account just to preserve my rating, my main account. I still want to have a decent rating on here. I don't want to race against the total scrubs. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Uh, I reckon do a qualifying lap for this. And then jump in again. 10 stars. Hurricane. Wow. We smashed it in the Hurricane. Hmm. I'm going to do a lap in the, in the Toyota. Um, hard to say what to do the race in, though. We'll just let's do a qualifying lap. Let's just do a qualifying lap in, in the Toyota and then decide which car to use. Don't try the Huracan. Yeah, I mean... I'm not quite the Lambo master that Calster is. It's, the Lamborghinis are kind of, they're hard, they're weird to drive, I think. Obviously they're really quick. They're almost a bit like the Audi R8, I feel, where you have to kind of slide them a little bit through the turns to get the power. Hey Steve, long time. Congrats on your recent karting success. Would you ever want to get involved in different racing leagues? So any Goodwood plans this year? Many thanks, Jake Sky Ellis. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the the race league I'm in is Club 100. I, I enjoy it. I really like it. Um, I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm interested. I am, actually, yeah, maybe. I've, I've done Club 100 for five years. I like doing it, but I would like kind of progress or do something different. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, obviously, real car racing is really expensive. I would like to one day do it, but I think right now I don't have enough money for it. Um, yeah, maybe one day. And with, um, what's the question? Uh, I can't remember the name now of it. Goodwood. Um, you know what? I probably will end up going. Um, I don't have plans right now to go to Goodwood, but yeah, I'll probably end up there. <laughs> I, I may well just do it, to be honest. It's not too far away from me, but two hours drive. Do you do track days? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't. If I did do it, I'd want to use sort of a, a dedicated track car, which I don't have. Um, I, I'm not. There's no way I'm using my road car. Wait, can you? One second. Can you use softs on this? No. Let's go with heavy, heavy wets. Just in case it rains. Right, here we go. One lap attack. Let's see what we can do. Just so I don't have to start last. Go. Um, there we go. Answers to frequently asked questions. It's in the chat. VW Golf. Mark 6 Candy White. Nice stuff, Paul Connolly. Can't go wrong with a Golf, mate. You can never go wrong with a Golf. 
Thanks for the donation, Paul. Thanks for the support as always. Ah, it's white. So we're aiming, if I can get eight minutes, 10 or something, I think I'll be happy with that. I think sometimes going down too many gears. It. Oh yeah, I need to short shift a bit more. Had to back off, otherwise I, can, I was going to spin there. Lost probably two seconds or a second. A bit annoying. It's difficult to string a whole lap here together, though. God, man. That was so amateur. So amateur. A couple of seconds lost in this lap. We'll just, can, we'll just finish it though, and it'll still be better than some people who didn't bottle it. 
Go who did boss this, sorry, should I say? If I get an A15, I think I'll be happy now. It's hard to say exactly what it's going to be, though. Think about the super is so hairy at the throw. Just love to slide. Oh, really? That wasn't a good corner. Right. Obviously, we can beat that lap by quite a lot. Probably five, six seconds at least. Does it get force? Does it, does it get feedback from the steering wheel? Yes set it to maximum in the game and on the wheel it's like 100 so yeah i get force feedback yeah, it might be more like an 820 this lap Hmm, okay. Don't have time for another one. I reckon without those silly mistakes, it would have been below 810 at least. That'll do for now. That'll have to do. 816, yeah. I need to be below 810 really, but at least I'm, at least I'm not starting last. There's that. Ever been to California? Uh, yes, um, I have actually, but not um, not really to stay there, only to kind of go through, because I used to, I have family in Hawaii, so I used to go through California sometimes. I stayed in Los Angeles, I've been to San Francisco, but only for like a day at a time, staying in a hotel and then flying on. I would like to explore a little bit more. Uh, what do we use? What have I got? Toyota, of course. McLaren, Atenza, R8, 6. I haven't got much choice. Kelsa's first lap was an 8.08 with no mistakes. Yeah, not bad. That's good. I mean, I think mine would have been an 8.09 without those mistakes. But I did make the mistakes. That's the thing. Carousel one, I, you have to accelerate early out of it, but it's just in that car. It's just you have to really be careful with that car. You can improve by at least nine seconds. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I can get back down to like eight oh five, eight oh four range. I reckon. I reckon, yeah, I reckon I might give the Shadow Realm car a liv um, a, go, sh a livery in honor of the great work by Vortex. We'll we'll go with the six fifty S. We'll go with the six fifty. Let it go. Yeah, I'd love to go back to uh, California, give it a proper visit one day. Um, so last year I went to Seattle twice. The year before that went to New York. Um, those are the only times I've really stayed in the in the states. Like for at least a couple of days. I've been to Hawaii. That's that is technically in the state. That is a, a state. 
Um, but never really stayed except for the Seattle and New York trips. I'd like, I'd like to go back. Yeah, I love. I, I do like the states. I think the dream would be to do a, a road trip, just drive around a lot. Go down Route 66, visit Area 51, just pop in, say hi, how's it going to all the aliens down there. Right, let's see how this McLaren... See races in the chat, man. What are you doing? Where do I live? I live in the UK, very close to London. Like I live in the south. Yeah, what? What rank is Jimmy on here? Are he streaming right now? Let's have a look. Let us take a look. He is streaming right now. The road to A driver rating. Oh, right. Let's watch a Jimmer stream on a Super GT stream. There he is. <laughs> Look at that. Super GT. Jimmy Broadbent. This is like streamception. He's getting rammed to bits, team lad. <laughs> he's doing the um, Fisherman's Raj. Oh, he's done a nice... Oh, I thought he was going to do a 360 then. And he's tumbling down the order. Unlucky pal. Streamception. Almost did a Leclerc, yeah, with a cheeky little 360 out of nowhere. Oh, God. All right. Can't remember how good this car is on fuel. Change the title medium. I'll leave it for now because by the time I change it, it will be. The race will start. But uh, I will change it before the race. What would I do without my pit crew in the chat? I'd be all over the place. Wrong tyres, wrong strategy, wrong fuel. Long car. Yeah, this is wait. Well, yeah, this is the exact car in the in the artwork. My, my, mic was, my mic was muted, sorry. But it's a phenomenon that scientists can't explain how slap train can drive and chase cam on a wheel. Oh God, I'm still 13. It's not even that good. If I got that 809, I'd be up there with Wi-Fi password. Well, well, well. That didn't go well, did it? Okay. One crap lap isn't enough, obviously. To get below that 810. Sorry, I pressed the button on my stream deck. I've got a button for Chrome, so I can turn Chrome on and off. But then I've got the mic button. So you can, I can mute myself. 
You don't want to listen to me. Which is all the time. Why are people using the McLaren? The McLaren, very good on fuel, very just sort of good all round handling, and good on straight, so it's hard to overtake. And they've got track position, they're in the front. You can just kind of defend the whole race in that car. Does anyone know that... This is what I was wondering. In FIA races, um, the same qualifying, so you're all sitting in the pit lane, and then you all leave the pit lane in a certain order. Does anyone know what the order is? Like, is there any logic to it? Because most of the time I'm sitting there right until the end, and I don't know why. Sometimes you get let out first, and I, I can't tell why. And I was just trying to think, is it down to driver uh, level? But I don't I don't think it is. I, I don't know. Oh, shite. Medium tyres. <gasps> oh, no. Well, rip. Okay, well, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Well, I suppose it's a test. Let's just test how, how the hard tyre is. Obviously, the first lap is going to be absolutely horrific when everyone goes flying past me, but... That's the bottle job. But the, the second lap, I'll be coming back at people, so... Well, in theory, anyway. I'll keep them for now, and then I'll change them just before the race start. Mm. Just go into the pit lane straight away. <laughs> Can you, yeah, I could do that. Just go straight into the pits. Well, that'd be really stupid. <clears throat> All right, here we go. The bottle strategy on the hard tire. Oh god, no, 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 no. Look at that thing go. I can't do anything about that. Oh, dive bomb. Okay, oh, uh, okay, I'll take that. I'll do, not much. Oh god, this is gonna be a horrific race, what am I doing? Oh, there's just no grip. These guys are going to get so frustrated because I'm, I'm just going to hold them up. I'm going to hold them up for the whole race. Or lap one at least. Give me that slipstream, please. It's a bold move, but to be honest, I did it back because I'm stupid and I forgot to change it. But yeah, let's see if it works. It's always a good idea just to... That's kind of what I like to do on these streams. Um, just test different... Just test out different things, see if they work or not. So this is the hard tyre test. I tried the, the pitting test and that just didn't work. Don't do a no-stop on this. No, don't do a one-stop on this race. I tried that, it doesn't work. Now we do the hard tire test. To be honest, not going too bad. Any 
and it's only going to get better, presumably, as the race goes on. As the other people wear out more. I'm actually pulling away from the pin behind, which is good. I don't want to be under pressure for the whole race. That's just death, basically. Try the two stop. Ripper only, mate. You want me to die? I'm actually keeping up. This is not too bad. It's not too bad. It's the Wi-Fi password in front. No, 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 no. Oh my. Just as I say something good. God's sake, that was such a stupid mistake as well. So many F's in this stupid race, man. <laughs> oh, he's off. I'll take that, thank you. What's the fuel like? I don't think it's great, actually. Not promising, I must say. The cart race round here. What is a shifter cart like round here? It would be a pretty meme race, to be fair. Oh, God, this thing is so slow. Plus, the queue is building. <laughs> Cheers, Matt Foster. Once again, mate. Oh, that feel... Uh, 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 it's not good at all. Hold up behind this guy, I might as well. Cheers, Woodman Gaming. Sorry to the French guy behind me. Oh, God's sake. I, I pushed him off. What a disaster. Absolute disaster this race is. I'll read your comment in just a moment, Woodman, but thank you.
it's been a slipstream. Fifty-two percent. I go for the move. Yeah, let's do it. Screw it. Work out though. Oh, he's wide. See you later, mate. Maybe seven percent fuel. Oh, oh good. Fuel save a lot on this lap. better grip well I don't know it's hard to say I still think slightly worn mediums can be better than less worn hards just have to drive a bit more clever I might not necessarily be better off here won't get that A plus rating. <laughs> no, this rate. The temp isn't a disaster, I suppose. I just need to get, get that qualifying up. And then use an OP car, that'll be alright. Yeah, this is the third week where I've gone, right, I'm going to get A plus today. Then I haven't. Job at FAA. Also, nice not black shirt. Yeah, man. I decided to go for a not black T-shirt. How about it? I'm not to I'm not a total emo. But yeah, FAA went really well. Really happy with it. Practiced quite a lot for it as well. Did a did two race runs, two race simulations. So I did the full race length a couple of times and uh, just really learnt the best strategy for it and it, it worked out oh my same freaking corner so stupid and I got a penalty for it sorry McLaren where is he he's still there oh god's sake so, so stupid to do the same mistake twice and, and get penalised for it. <laughs> As if the mistake wasn't enough. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this is the point where I'd rage quit normally, but we need to get that A+. Plus. Oh, this guy's... 
Oh, I've got a freaking beat all over me. Oh, he's there. Turn that radar on. Oh, this is an absolute disaster. Absolute disaster, man. Alright, I'm not going to block you. This is... <laughs> oh my god. I'm just losing concentration. It's just so hot in this room. I need to open the window. Oh, okay. I'll have it back then. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the penalty thing there, it's just, like, it's just annoying because obviously I've crashed. I've lost loads of time as it is, and then... He gets a penalty for it. But... Uh, don't crash, I guess. And you won't get the penalty. But... No, I ain't rage quitting because I, I, I want to preserve that rating at least a little bit. Might not even make a difference. I'm, ba I'm, I'm about to finish last anyway. Might have even finished to be honest. Let's go down to like set three or something. This is totally the wrong car to use. Don't don't use this car. <laughs> It's all about the fuel this race. What's, what are the best cars on fuel? I don't actually know. The McLaren seems really good. I don't... I think the Lexus is, it, is good. I don't know which cars are the best on fuel, to be honest. Problem is my sportsmanship might go down to... A now. Or crapper version of this. Right, come on, bring it home. Bring home the bacon. Well, I'm not gonna bring home the bacon, but bring this stupid car home. Well, bring the stupid driver home that's driving it. Or like. Bellings in seconds. Yeah, don't give me that. Ten percent fuel. Nine percent fuel. Actually, nine percent is actually ten percent. Zero percent counts as a percent. Going for it. I don't think so. This is just absolutely amateur. Absolutely amateur. Serve that penalty. Well, I might as well just go lean six now. All oh, right. Need to stop with this. Qualifying a get better qualifying lap and start in the proper car. Not last, at least. There is that. I don't think I need quite that. <laughs> yeah, my brother's stupid GT's playing. I'm, I'm his. I'm Super's twin brother. Stupid GT. F4H stupid GT. Oh, my feel will be alright. Oh, come on! I could have beaten that guy. If I paid attention at the end. Did they get rid of the low fuel message? Um, there's an option in the menu to turn it off. So, technically, yes, they did. Oh, and that's the thing as well. Yeah, don't use the meat. Uh, don't use the hard tire. No point. <sighs>
It wasn't sick, but it was 16. It just got sick in it. That'll do. That'll do. I think go down. A S. Uh... Get out of here. Get out of here. What is my rating? Ugh. 47704. Right, okay. Need to, need to be better on this. Treaters at 46.3. Right, come on, let's get a good lap here. We need to grind that rating up. No messing about now, come on. Talk about that qualifying lap. And his name is Super GT. There should be a Viagra for racing. How would that work? A Viagra for racing. You take a pill, and what happens? I, I like the sound of it, but I'm not understanding the the whole principle behind it. But um, we'll go with it. Cheers, Ian Blair. Right, come on. No, no messing around now. Let's get this. There's lap time down. And then we will have more success. Take a pill and it makes racing even harder. That's not what you want. Lol. Right, come on. Dork the dog. Not often you get a donation from a dog. But hello, mate. I'm doing very well. I'm bossing. I mean, this live stream isn't going too well. I'm making a lot of mistakes and crashing a lot. But um, I'm good. And thanks for asking. Clearly, you get a third leg of the clutch. Hey, the AT, by the way. Um, we'll go with that theory. Jesus Christ. So, why? I don't know where to break for that corner. I just don't get that corner how it worked. I always get it wrong, always. Or will understand. Bring back group three into Lagos. I can easily get that 50k today. It's just having a couple of good races, that's all it takes. Oh my god, that's so wide. Oh man, I need to. <laughs> can you. You can't soften the tyres, surely, for race B. Can, or can you? You can't, no. Didn't think. You, you never can. Not for race B. Great. Five to the rear. Okay. Right, let's go with that then. 
Mr. Lambo Master Calster with the advice. Come on. Smash this lap. Yeah, the tyres were being abused. Hard abuse there. Substance abuse. Oh my god. Formal drive always five plus. average. I really do need to prove that 47.1. It's not... It's suboptimal. That's the nice way to put it. Jesus. The car feels so bad. Right. Got one more. We've got time for one more lap, I think. Actually, I don't even think I will. I feel so horrible through there. Might be able to get. I won't have enough time by the timer, but sometimes you can still complete the lap. Might count. Someone kill me now. This is not a good combo for me. Oh my god, this under is so And I felt as though I break too early as well. To be honest, I can't see I can't even feel the difference between the minus two and the plus five brake balance. I'd say this is just going so bad. I need a packet of disco. Someone send me some discos, please. You know what? I'm going to stick with what I was on because I, I felt better. With, I, th I think I felt better with that. I, I don't know. Really know. You're worse than Jimmer. Yeah, probably am now. I've got worse. I've actually got worse on this stream. Oh boy. I'm gonna open my window for like two minutes. Oh, just Paul Connolly. Some days you're the pigeon, some days you're the statue. Most definitely the statue today, mate. Cheers again, Paul. Come on, let's have a good one here. Let's have a good one. Give us a wow. Wow. There he is. To a real life one. Oh, 
Oh, right. <sighs> what was everyone driving? Mostly Huracans. But the TT's in there as well. I really need to get the lap time down to a mid 46, or at least at least a 46. Understeer City. Yeah, I am having problems, says Ryan Hillard in the chat. I am indeed. Right, here we go. It's Lamborghini versus Audi. An Audi TT versus a Huracan. Okay then. Lambo's weird in Group 4, you have to be perfect, otherwise you understeer steer off. It feels like that, yeah. It's obviously very quick, possibly the quickest car in, in Group 4, but... There's a there's a certain knack to it, which I use the handbrake. Yeah, I've seen replays recently where people giving a cheeky little on the handbrake. Yeah, so it's actually a completely viable strategy to use the handbrake. I've seen that work. And not just in Gran Turismo, in Forza as well, it can work. It's be early on the throttle as well. Let's see if anyone dies through the chicane. Hoping for death, praying for death. Praying for the, praying for the Grim Reaper. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, why? You ain't getting through that side. Mate. I think I might have to do another stream where I actually get to A. Plus next week after these stupid races. <laughs> Andrew Stewart City, someone on my left. That was never going to work. Come on, everyone's battering each other in. We still get seventh. We can fight back. We can still do well. Come on. Load of TTs here, though. Oh my god, this is getting messy. I think this Irish guy is not a fan of mine. Right now. Oh, nice cut back there, mate. That was a hairy moment. That was a hairy moment at the chicane. We're through. Jesus Christ. Jesus freaking Christ.
If I can get 8th, I'll be really happy with that. 7th is gone. Unless someone ahead crashes at the, at the chicane, you never know. Right, he's going to go for the move, I think. He's going to come back at him. Oh man, you do not have to break that much. Oh, they're going off. Oh, this is such an annoying battle to be part of. I just want to get away from these people, but... Calm. This is what happens when you're in the midfield though, it pays just to have a good quality lap and get away from all of this. going my way right now. <laughs> I love hard livery. This is a shocking race. Oh my god. Yeah, Calster, come over to my house please and just... Just, just do this for me. I need an expert on the Lambo. Who knows what we're doing? Because I obviously don't. The leader is miles ahead. Well, let's get back into the top ten. frustrating races where like sometimes people are just in the wrong place at the wrong time and I don't know like nothing fell my way sometimes you get lucky where a crash happens and you can just get through and sometimes a crash happens and you just don't get through and you kind of get hemmed in and blocked and uh, it's just one of them races they happen they happen oh we can get ninth let's get back at ninth Could have been a cheeky move from him, but I don't know. Maybe just made a mistake. Oh, Jesus. My lap times were awful. 149 was my best lap. The Huracan won. That's encouraging. I think the Huracan is the best car. What's your biggest gripe with the game after the penalty system? Um, oh, yeah. Good, really good question. Just really good question. I don't know. Um, right now, it's the repetition of daily races. I, I may be saying. Wow, that was shocking. All right, we need to just do. Let's study the re study the replay. That's what I just see. My rating would have gone down again. I think. I've only got worse. 
Yeah. Let's let's do some studying. Let's do some studying. Um. Let's have a look. Right, let's just let's watch a good replay. Let's learn. I say screw the Huracan and just pick the car you're most comfortable with. Thing is, in Group Four, I'm not comfortable with any car. Um. I think the Lambo is okay. It's just weird. Yeah, I've gone down about 800. Oh no, about just over now. About 1300 points. Did you know there are bacon discos? Man, no, I didn't. That's the peak of civilization right there. Right, let's have a look then. Show me how to do it. Just on the end of the curb. Second gear. Slide in the car. On the power early. Revving it. Pretty much. Yeah, bounce off the limiter. Well, not bounce off the limiter, but flashing. Couple of times on change. Keeps in fifth. It's counter steer assist though. <gasps> oh baby, that was sweet. Where's the brake here then? Just before the curve. Slides it. So again. Jesus, that was perfect. This woman, uh, we've got a dude in MN that daily. A hurricane all winter. <laughs> what a legend. That man knows how to live life. That's actually pretty cool. This woman. It's just before that curve. Doosh, doosh. Maybe a few minutes before. And then posting. They say, obviously, in real mode sport, in, in real mode sport, you shouldn't post. Because you're not, you should be doing something. You should be braking or you should be accelerating. I think in the game that's not true. I think actually coasting sometimes it helps to, to rotate the car. He's done it again there. Look, loads. It takes a really wide entry down here. Get the most speed out. Okay. Yeah, the coasting. He definitely coasted quite a bit through there. And again, you can see him coasting. Plenty of that. This just helps to rotate the car. Spinning again. I mean, he is using counter steer, which I don't know how that is affecting the lap exactly. But I don't know. I don't really like it when people use it. But it's there. I can't really. It's not cheating, but it's just uh, the way it is. Peril said that floating turns is a real thing. Oh, okay. Maybe it is, yeah. It's just typically... I've, I've always felt, yeah, I've always felt as though coasting is... It can be valuable. I think it maybe it's a thing to teach a beginner, like, try to be doing one thing or the other. But I think maybe when you get to the higher levels, like, you should be coasting maybe at times. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to ignore the race entry because I think something I've noticed with race entry if i click it and then there's a countdown for me that's pressure because i'm trying right i need to, i've got i've only got two laps to get a, a lap and then I, I make mistakes what you need is a qualifying time trial so as many laps as you need and just get the lap time they're coasting f1 yeah i think like in modern motorsport it's very different i think especially now because Especially like you, you take Formula E, saving energy. So coasting might make sense a lot of the time, like lift and coast into turns to save fuel. I think now, especially with fuel saving, that kind of thing, and protecting the car and saving your tyres, not driving 100% the whole time, um, lifting off is probably a very reasonable thing to do now. What does counter steer assist do? Well, I, I, I mean, I guess as soon as your car begins to spin too much, it straightens it up. But I don't know exactly how it works. Right, 
Right, here we go, come on. Yeah, I mean, there's arguments for and against, like, should F1 be, like, a flat-out sprint race from the start to the finish? Or should they be protecting what they have? Yeah, because sometimes it is very frustrating watching F1 when... Kind of happened in Australia, like, they just they took the pit stop and they were like, I'm just driving to the end. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go in the pits because I'll lose my track position. So I'm just gonna protect these tyres all the way through to the end and just drive 10% slower than I could. And there's that coasting. It's weird that. Yeah. Okay. It just feels weird doing that, but. This is where he takes a really different line, so go in there and keep over to the left here for a much better line than this turn. But yeah, so this is the better way to qualify, just forget about the race. I've got no pressure here. I've got as long as I as long as I need just to get this lap time. I mean, it, it, I suppose it's different for everyone, but for me, having that race countdown, so you've got 10 minutes to the race, that's just pressure. It's, on, it's just a distraction, which you don't want. Right. Okay. Let's try and work on this then. Again, because you have to get there's so many temps you can gain on that chicane, like you have to get it dead perfect, you have to push the limit. So, there might be a bit of that. Set myself to the realm once again. Honestly, the car feels better. The slight front bias. I felt it just horribly understeered on plus five. I mean, Calster is a, the Lambo master, and if it works for him, then it works. But I suppose everyone has their own driving methods, so just drive with, with what works for you, I suppose. Awful, but continue. Penal penalty for that. Lol. Survey in a minute. Let's practice this full speed. All the way. track there's actually and I think we're using this track for the next FIA race although it's the other way around it's gonna be a weird weird race because it's N300 but you can sort of detune some of the cars to bring it down to N300 like I think the F50 probably F50 is like one of the best cars for that race it's really weird how the tuning works sometimes
that's how it is. I think that's something I mentioned in my What's Wrong With GT Sport video. The tuning, the, the glasses aren't very well balanced, especially in the low classes as well. They okay, need to commit a lot more to that first apex, get a lot closer to it. Where the time's gained. RIP Williams 2019. They're having a horrific time at the moment, aren't they? It's actually quite hard to watch. So wide again. Yeah, that Williams is just all over the place, man. It's, it's like. George Russell, you think, wow, he's, it's his dream, he's in F1, but he just can't do anything. Pass so far off. Yeah, second quicker, let's just slowly grind that laptop down and get there. You need to feel safe in order to make it to the end without pitting. Yes, like in short shift, go down to lean settings for some sections. We'll get there one day. Yeah, we're getting better at that turn. It's a bit better. It's still, it's still a really hard turn though. I suppose this is the hard progress of, uh, process of qualifying laps. I mean, when you look at someone's ta lap time on the, on the leaderboards, I mean, they probably had loads of laps where they crashed or didn't cook it all up. So you only see the best one. You don't know what all their crap ones were like. Now, I gained a lot on that ghost on that second half of that lap. So you can easily beat it by a long way. There's that drift. That's what you need. Yeah. It's equal with the ghost, doesn't matter. There we go. Can we get it right this time around? Better. Baby, there we go. Look at that, so much time gained on the exit. Seven temps up. How you do it? Time. 
lost my two temps. That's a promising sign though. I think that's going to be slightly quicker than the record I've got. Or seven zero. Could have gone two temps at least quicker than that. Penalty as well. <sighs> right, let's continue. Yeah, it would have been a, would have been a 46 there. Maybe a 46 eight without that. Big dead. That was a big dead. That one. I want to continue so I can keep the ghost and the relative, uh, the relative lap time thing. This is the corner I got wrong with the ghost. I just need to commit to it a lot earlier. I freaking hate that chicane. <laughs> so hard. It's just, it's weird that yeah, there's just tracks that you just do better around some tracks and just worse at others. I remember in F1, but some tracks, I think it was like Turkey, Massa, just ruined everyone around there. I ruined the yeah, It's weird how some tracks are just, and like Bottas would just, he's really good around Russia. Just some tracks are just really good around, and some you just aren't. It's hard to explain. Both in the last two corners, yeah, that's what that's what I've got really wrong. The rest of the lap is okay. So hard to get right. Yeah, that's it. Well, a really good exit on that turn with the ghost. Ricardo Monaco, yeah. Could be at North Korea. there's two attempts to gain through there. I gained on the ghost definitely just through that. Massively actually. There's a couple of times. I can go at least four attempts quicker. At least. In mid 46. Just getting that chicane rise. The first one, the chicane of death. Right, come on, what are we on? Map 7 coming up. Still gain that time back. Oh, maybe not.
Oh man, uh, this is taking a while, but I think this is the process you have to kind of, you kind of just have to do this. Lap and lap and lap and just see what you're doing wrong. And just try and... It's just good for a race pace as well. Just getting the consistency down, which obviously I, I have not got right now. When's the next FIA race? Um, they're every Saturday and Wednesday. So Wednesday is the next one. Turn it too late again. Should be gaining with the ghost massively through there, but I just didn't. Still beat it though. I'll get this final bit right. Here we go. We're gonna beat it by much. It will be a 46 though, or something. Go, come on. Quarter of a second there. And surrender it all. A tenth up though, you can still gain a tenth. Surrendered a massive lead, and it's going to be pretty much equal with the ghost, annoyingly. Oh, right, okay, we can consistent at least. I've thought about streaming on Twitch. Um, yes, but I'm not going to do it. I, I just prefer it here. Keep going. We can go. We can still go quicker. That's the annoying thing about the ghost. Just if it's ahead of you, you're just unsighted. Yeah, it really is very technical. You have to. It's one of those. It's a weird one because it's like you nail it and gain loads of time, 
or you don't and you lose loads of time. It's like, it's really hard to kind of get in the middle. You kind of just, you have to just get everything dead right. And it's so hard to, to do that. I'm still, I'm, there's definitely time in it. I just need to hook it up in one lap. That's the problem. That's the hard part. FRC this year, good question. Um, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking of doing it. I'm thinking of trying, trying to compete. See what I can do. Um, I think I, I, I mean I lost pace on Forza definitely, but I'd like to try. I think Gran Turismo will be my main priority because I haven't qualified for a Gran Turismo event before. I've I've done Forza events. I'd, li I'd like to try Gran Turismo, but I'll still try Forza this year. Don't know what the plans are for the year actually. Still. We'll see. I mean, he got Fraga. I mean, as if I could ever catch up with him, but... Imagine the amount of money I'd get on the R4M Shadow GT account for ramming Eagle Fraga. I'd be a millionaire. People would sending in Super Chats on the Gran Turismo live stream. Can you send this to Super GT, please? That's not, I've been here for 20 minutes. This is a, a long, dull process. I've improved at least, not by much, but. Go race is again boring. I will soon, don't you worry. You know what? I can't bother anymore. I'll do 469. <sighs> I've got cramp in my foot. Ow. Ow. I've actually just missed the race, so. Well, there's that. I've, I've just missed that race. Oh, well. Maybe I'll just have to do another, I'll do another 20 minutes of qualifying now. Oh, wait, one second. Oh, I've got an achievement, I think. When are we going to get a fresh batch, batch of Horizon memes? That's a good question. I was thinking about playing it because we've got this new festival players. I haven't been on it in a while. But, um... Should we just reset the game? Because I did watch a re... Actually, let's watch another replay of someone who didn't use counter-steer. That might be a nice idea. Hey, Scott Priest. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Virus killer. Right then. Actually, let's, let's watch this guy. He was actually in the races we were just in.
GT Sport be the best racer for me to get or any other recommendations? I mean, Gran Turismo is a great game. It's it's really hard for me to recommend because I don't know. Do you like Formula One? That might if you like if you love Formula One, that might be the best game for you to get. And what consoles have you got? I don't know. That's a look. But Gran Turismo is a very solid game. If you've got the console, definitely buy it because it's very cheap. Hosting from Turn One, I need to remember that. What a great thing. Hosting, hook it up. Early shift to the third. Cut the final turn, yeah, okay. That's the one I want sure about. Let's just really close, just really run the walls close and be a bit more clear. Maybe what I'm doing there is I'm just carrying way too much speed. Nice car. Really nice line. What ABS uh, default I use. Open to the right. Coasting, I keep forgetting the coasting. Maximise the track there. Oh, I am there. Well, he could have gone even quicker. Bit of time. Let's pull up. Coasting, that's the thing I'm missing. I did it, I, I'm doing it from one of the turns, but not all of them. Let's see how he does the final chicane. Yeah, two, two on the curb, two on the red. I can, I can cut that one a little bit more. I was kind of afraid of that because often the car kind of bounces up and I don't like that, but it's like it works. Definitely maximise track limits, yeah, but I mean that's what you've got to do. The Italian second used the e brake several times during the lap. Yeah, I mean that's just one of the things. Um, obviously, you, should, you would never do that in reality, but. To get the car to kind of turn, you sometimes need to do it. It's, it's a weird method, but it works. It does work. I'm on PS4, so I wouldn't be able to get Forza anyway. I didn't know LZR had competitive Forza players either. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so if you're on PS4, definitely but uh, Gran Turismo. And LZR, yes. Um, I think it was about two, three months ago, acquired a lot of uh, Gran Turismo players and Forza players. I think about three on each. Patrick Blake, I'm drunk and want to go to sleep, but the world is spinning. Glad you're streaming to help. Always good, mate. Tuning in. Isn't that, doesn't that help you sleep though, if you're drunk and the world's spinning? Doesn't that help you sleep? I think that's that helps me if anything. Right. Playtime. What have I done? What I played for. Twenty four hours. Okay. How many races have I done? Seventy and I've won twenty one. Twenty six last laps, eighteen poles. Just three consecutive clean races, not many. Right, let's get back out there. Race entry, let's do some coasting. Let's see if we can improve. Will Gran Turismo ever come to Steam? If I had to give you an answer, I would say almost certainly not. I, I just don't think it will come out on Steam. I'd highly doubt it. Is Calster in the top 10 for race C? Yes, he's actually number one. <laughs> number one right now. So yes, he's in the top one actually. Can you not use the fastest lap as a ghost? Um, 
can do that. I don't remember if you can. But to be fair, I only like to race my own ghost. So I think it's a distraction having the much faster ghost. For me, anyway. Yeah, I don't think you can then. What game was I thinking of? Oh yeah, I've been playing Trials Rising. The motorbike game where you go from like left to right. That's a game where you can use the ghosts of different people. That's what I was thinking of for a second there. Because I've been playing that a bit recently. Right, here we go. I was thinking of doing a live stream on it, but uh, I don't know if people will watch it. It's still kind of motorsporty related, but uh, I don't know. But yeah, I've always loved the Trials games. I, I just find the, the physics really addicting. I just love it. I've got two people saying they watch it. That's two guaranteed viewers. Myself for two. Oh, <laughs> right. I, I coasted, but not enough. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah, it's a bit more relaxed. Well, trials can be very much not relaxing. To be fair, I've only done about half of the levels. There's about 123 levels in the game. I think it is. I've only done about 55 or something so far. They're all the hard ones yet to come. But on the Trolls games, I've, I mean, I've been able to set top 100 times. I've been top few thousand in the world overall. So it's not too bad for a game I haven't got a load of time into. That's, I think that's the approach there. Be a bit more clinical, just slow down a little bit on the entry. Jesus Christ. It's like... Maybe... Let's try the... Let's try the minus five. So plus five. So I feel like I'm breaking at the same... T I know the car was squirming there, but... It feels like I'm breaking the right... Wait, I'm just going straight on. Yeah, I just need to really abuse that corner a lot more. Aim for the curb. Aim for the inside of the curb, not the outside of it. Why don't I use cockpit view? It's just too restrictive, you can't see anything. And not being able to see anything is quite a big problem. I just feel like it's just too hard to see. But like if people were next to you, it's, it's, I know you've got the radar, but I don't know, I, I just really don't like it. That felt okay. Lost five. Okay, that's way better through that turn. That felt so much better. So even if I don't beat this qualifying lap, I, I'm just more consistent now. So that's that's a big plus.
Right, I, I think I can. I think I can beat it. Yeah, it's a bit annoying they don't have a mirror. I, I guess the reason is FPS issues, but I don't know. Exactly. Need to commit again a lot earlier. Jeez, it's so hard this track. To get it perfect. I can't I can't seem to get it consistent. I think that one, what I know what I'm doing actually, for that uh, chicane we just went around of the hairpin we just went around. Turning too sharp when braking, and it's the tyres are squealing like a little pig, and it's understeering, and it's actually slowing me down, I'm slowing the braking performance down. Well, the, the braking performance is getting worse because I'm steering into it too much. I just need to straight, just need to take a straighter braking point, and then cut back the late apex. Get in there, we're working it out slowly. Too, too much coasting, but roughly equal to ghost. Nothing works through there. Felt like I braked too early and it still didn't work. to abuse that turn a lot more. Come on. Time for two more laps. I'm getting there. I just it's just hooking it up in one. That's it's so hard. Around here. Oh, there, it's, like, it's so deep. So I think I feel as I'm breaking at the same point, but obviously I'm not. I'm just going so far. Understeering so much. Oh, my God. I just, I, I'm baffled, honestly. I feel like I'm breaking so much earlier. Maybe I do need to turn into it. I'm going too straight there.
clear I need a lot of practice in this class in group four especially this car especially this track just hope it doesn't come up in FIA anytime soon I suppose we're all in the same boat stupid race man oh, let's, let's just do a race and see how it goes uh, I'm, just, I'm not enjoying this track I just can't get it right it's a very tough track I, 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 I don't know I just didn't I think in group three I'm okay. It's just group four. Group four is just a weird group, I think. Practice for ages to get a good timing. I think it's yeah. Like in, in previous races, like Inter Lagos that last week I did I did 30 laps there. And for group three, that's a lot for me. But in group four, I think I need to do like double that at least. Yeah, three chicane. It's a weird track. Like three chicanes, three hairpins. Like all slightly different from each other. It's a really tough circuit. Really, really technical. Really difficult. Especially like through that death chicane because like you have to thread it perfectly. And if you don't, you lose like three or four temps. Or obviously more if you if you murder yourself. But at the same time, I think qualifying isn't a strength of mine. It, it's never been something I've been amazing at. Um, I've, I've typically done better on race pace. Wait, what's my driver rating? What's my sportsmanship? 86. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we can have a... an easier kind of race here, I suppose. Or we'll pull on, on pole position. Into pole two, a TT behind uh, in front. Got the Nintendo DS drivers here. Yeah, I think yeah, it's just hard because obviously in quali qualifying you want to maximise everything, and it's some some laps I felt as I was braking and I was going through that. So after the death chicane, you've got the long left, it tightens up. Some laps are quite dead perfect, and then some laps are just wouldn't go round. I don't know. It's weird. Well, let's just have a good race, see what happens. Um, hope that a good combo comes up next week, but I can actually get a stupid A plus rating. That's ideal preparation for the race. Let's go now. Come on. If you don't get first, I'm unsubbing. Okay, Calster. It's on. The deal is on, mate. Every time I look, uh, try to look for Super GT cars in racing games, I get your channel. Yeah, sorry about that. I kind of hijacked the whole the whole idea of the Japanese touring car championship. Yeah, I've kind of uh, taken over. Sorry. First all riot. Right here we go. I've got prevent. I've got prevent a riot. Quite a. 
That's quite a burden you've put upon me there. No Oreo livery. No, I've gone for the Shadow Realm livery on this car. Right, let's go. Hopefully I have the consistency at least. Might not be outright pace, but... Let's see. Consistently hitting the wall. Horrible underseal, no matter what I do. Leader has a penalty, but he's got away. Someone on my left. You ain't having that space, boy. Right, let's just catch up with the leader then. Got himself a penalty, but. See what he's catching. Cheers, Warren. Don't break into plus three. Let's try it. Let's try it. Not a good idea to do mid race, but Man, this car actually takes that really well. If you just cut that sliding. Cheers, Warren. No donation. Try plus three for a lap, see what it's like, but I can't see it might be much different to plus five. Well, it will be different by two. Five minus three is two, so that's how different it will be. So I break earlier, and then it's just like... Oh. This track really confused me. <laughs> Can't get it right. It's like, it just seems like... T two metres difference in braking makes a massive difference of how you go around the turn. It's, it's just really weird. It's, just a, it's not like that other, turn, uh, other track. It seems like that, anyway. Right, screw it. Turn it off. That's it. <laughs> I can't be bothered with this anymore. I hate it. I don't want to do that. Oh, man. It's giving up. We've actually gone backwards on driver rating, so forget about this whole A plus thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, don't want to do that race. Group 4 track and trail. <laughs> At least FIA is back. There's something. At least. Oh, God. Uh... Yeah, I, I just struggle. There's just too much to think about in that car. Like, the braking point and then coasting and the brake balance and. Ah, oh, screw it. Screw that stupid race. Let's go back to Horizon. That's easier. Forza Horizon. Right. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the stream as as bad as I've been, as bad as it's been. So many ways. But I think I'm going to stock up on discos very soon, and I'll be I will come back strong. When you do a standing start, do you do top revving or keep lower? I'm not the. I mean, I do top revving, but I don't know how to do it. I get beaten off the line a lot, so I, I'm not the best person to ask. I don't know if you should use TCS. I don't know 
the answer. Um, so, yes, I do, but it's not the best thing to do, I don't think. So. But that's it. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'll stream again very soon. Uh, I think when I'll stream next. Well, we have actually, when is it? 25th today, 26th. Thursday, we've got the. Um, what's it called? The Super Formula car being added. So we'll definitely stream that, get a video out on that as well, I think. So that might be the next stream, whatever. We'll see that. So that'll, that'll be really good. Super Formula car coming on the 28th of March, um, which will be really cool. We don't get many single-seater open, single-seater cars really in this game. We, we've got the Formula 1 car, but it's not great to drive. We'll see. This one hopefully is a good car to drive and to race. Um, but we'll see. But that's all. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for the donations. Thanks to all my members, of course, and uh, Patreon backers. Much appreciated, as always. So that's all for me. See you next time. Much love. Bye bye.